Welcome to this Absolute Beginner Splendor tutorial number 14, part 2. We have already modeled this frame and we want to model the cone of the speaker. Uh, I'm in edit mode and I want to find the bottom edge here. So I'll press A to deselect everything and press Alt right mouse button. So now I've selected this ring or this circle. Press E to extrude, S to scale, and just pull in. And this is just going to be a flat surface. So I'll leave it like that. And then I want to create the rubber suspension. And I'll press E for extrude, left mouse, scale. And this is how wide I want the rubber suspension to be. Maybe it's a little bit too wide. I can scale it. There you go. No. That. Okay. Now what? What I need to do here is I want to divide this up into several rings. I'll do that by shifting to face mode, Alt, right mouse button, click, back to edge mode, and uh, Alt Shift, right mouse, mouse deselect these. Now only the spoke edges are selected. I press W to subdivide that and open up the toolbar, two cuts, two cuts, close the toolbar, shift back to face mode, and select the middle ring, Alt, right mouse button click, just have to find the edge, right, good, and then shift to front view, I press C so I can see through, and then lift this ring to about there I think that's probably what I want um, I have already applied or used the subsurface modifier I'll, I'll activate it for the editing cage so I can see a little bit better press Z again so I get the solid mode and uh, it's a little bit too tall and that's what I want okay I'm happy with the uh, rubber suspension and the next thing I want to do is to select go back to edge oh sorry I want to go back to edge selection mode control tab uh -huh. okay we want to go back to this and edge selection mode I was pressing in control tab in object mode get into white paint and we don't want that so okay now <clears throat> what we want to do now is to extrude the cone and the way to do that is to press e for extrude left mouse scale and then just a tiny bit like that so now we have kind of secured this bulging part here so we can continue to extrude downward without disrupting the the shape of the rubber suspension which is kind of like a, uh, a rim, a soft rim. So we'll do E for extrude and the scale. I'll scale it to there. I think that's about it. That's what I want. Look at that and then I'll pull it down. Then we'll look at this in object mode. And yes, the this little soft edge is still still there and the way I like it so I'm happy with that and of course go back to edit mode this here like how flat or deep the cone is it's just completely arbitrary it's your own choice just kind of keep it like that the next thing to do is to make the dome we just keep extruding here it's not rocket science, it's extrusion. Uh, e for extrude, scale. Mm -hmm. I'll regret that. Uh, I'll go back to edge mode. The e for extrude, scale. Do it again, E for extrude, scale. E scale. Okay. Press 
is on. Press C for wireframe mode. And just elevate that part. Alt, right mouse, one for front view. Elevate that part. This is also a choice how fine you want this. If you want more detail, you can have press C to get back to solid mode. You can have more rings to make it more, you know, highly detailed or whatever, but this is just a principle. And then extrude, scale. What we're going to do now is press, press S and zero, then all these will convene in one center point. We'll shift back to vertex mode and then Alt M and choose at center. Then all these vertices will be merged into one. And if I pull that up, you can see that there's just one vertice connecting all of these. So now the dome is created. This is how the cone for this is made. And this concludes this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we'll complete the cage behind the dome and where the magnet's supposed to sit. We're not going to have a magnet, just complete the cage. Uh, and then in the fourth tutorial, we'll put materials on it. So thank you for listening, and I'll talk to you soon.